what's up guys it's Jonathan with Rev Free Moto today I have a problem that I need to solve and that is my Harley Davidson Lowrider ST well let me just show you See, that's the problem. You can barely hear the exhaust on this bike. And I'm gonna have to do something about that. Definitely one of the first things we're modding on this bike is, is gonna be the exhaust. So, what we're gonna do today is we're gonna install a pair of Tab Performance slip-ons. And these are actually the ones with not the zombie baffles, I've gone with the two and a quarter, uh, I think they call it louvered baffles, the, or the medium baffles. And so we're gonna go ahead and put those on and then we're gonna do a sound comparison. All right guys, the first thing we gotta do is take off these heat shields. To do that, we use a 5 16 socket wrench and we're gonna remove the heat shields with these hose, from these hose clamps here by loosening those up. So here and here are your two points on the top shield and then your bottom shield, it's gonna be right here where my finger is and right here so we'll get go ahead and, and take those off we've got the the heat shields off here they are top and bottom and then here's a look at the stock exhaust we got a little bit of bluing going on here but otherwise they look pretty good i actually think it looks kind of cool with the the contrast with the black front part of the pipe and the chrome in the back it's kind of a neat look uh, but we're going to take these off next and to do that we're going to undo this nut and this nut that is a 9 16 recommend you use a longer um, socket wrench so attachment so 9 16 for that and then this these two bolts right here which is going to be a uh, hex wrench or, or hex attachment allen wrench whatever you want to call it and that's going to be a 3 16 size that'll that'll fit in there so once you get all those loose then you should just have to kind of twist the pipes a little bit and pull them off um, and they should come right out so one more thing that i forgot to mention when you're taking the the stock pipes off you're gonna have to take your saddle bag off that's a, a quick disconnect saddle bag no problem once you get that off there's two more of these bolts here that you're going to need to remove in order to take off this top pipe i went ahead and taped here with some masking tape because the angle of this is not the greatest and I feel like I'm going to probably uh, scratch the swing arm here if I'm not careful uh, which so you may want to take a, a couple extra seconds and throw some tape or a rag over it or something like that just so that you're not scratching up your swing arm All right, when you're trying to remove these two bolts I found that trying to get a the Allen wrench in here can be a little bit of a tricky angle, especially for this one over here, where there's just really no way to get it in there. And so what I ended up doing was taking an Allen wrench, it was actually starting to strip, so what I actually did was I put an Allen wrench in here like that, and I took a pair of good heavy duty channel locks and grabbed it like that and that broke the, i also sprayed it with a little bit of uh, penetrating oil or penetrating spray like wd-40 or ballastol or something like that and uh, that that helped so i've broken them both loose and i should be able to get them off now okay, i've got the stock pipes off i'm going to probably clean up this area a little bit while i have everything exposed like that um, and then here's the Here's the stock pipes, here's the top, here's the bottom. They uh, Once they got everything loose, took a little while finagling with these top bolts. But um, once they got everything loose, they you know, kind of wiggled a little bit and rotated and they came right off. I just want to show you that uh, tab does show you on the box that which ones are top and bottom um, on the actual box itself. So if you need any help with that. So we'll go ahead and take those out. So there's your top and there's your bottom all right we'll go ahead and and uh, put those on 
I'm pretty excited because I just finished putting the, the pipes on and I have not put the black uh, heat shields uh, back on the pipes yet. I'm kind of wrestling with the idea of maybe just leaving them like that. Um, kind of like the, the look of the chrome with the black tips. So I ordered the, uh, the black baffle tips here and you can also get these in chrome so that like uh, the chrome the ends will be chrome with with this all being black with the heat shields but uh, yeah I think that's kind of a, a neat look you know it's like the you got some chrome on the engine uh, and black and then you've got some chrome here too so I may just leave it we'll see um, we'll see I, I have to give it a little bit of thought but let's go ahead and I'll be quiet so that we can go ahead and see what these things sound like Wow, what a difference. I think they sound fantastic. Uh, now let's get out, get out and uh, ride around with them a little bit and see what they sound like going down the road.
cell pop that I've heard so far. The idle seems to be about the same, if not a tad bit lower. So it's idling around 820 to 870, 790, so 700 to, or, or 800 to 900 seems to be the RPM range. It's just got a nice low rumble at idle. Turn around. Is that cool? Just turn around right here. Thanks, sir. I feel like there's got a, it's got a little bit more power too. I don't know if that's even a thing, but. Zombie baffles, which are heck of a 
lot louder. Man, they uh, they had they definitely smell like new pipes. But it, yeah, it sounds great. I feel like it slowed the idle down just a little bit. Take it on a. Uh, Take it on a back road real quick and but yeah, just uh, after you you know punch it a little bit, you bring it back down, let it, let it hang in a uh, like third gear. There's no decel pop at all, and this is a. Uh, sunset.
got a, a really good look to them. Of course, I, I can put the, uh, the the heat shields back on over the mufflers or the slip-ons if I wanted to. Right now, I'm just going to let it ride like this because once I put those heat shields on, um, it's hose clamps that will clamp onto these this beautiful chrome and probably mar it all up. So I'm going to let it ride like this as long as I like this look. You can also order these with, of course, the zombie baffles, which are much louder. Same price. Uh, you can also order them with chrome end caps instead of black. So if I wanted to, you know, order those end caps, I could probably change those out and have a different look with all black and then chrome at the uh, chrome at the at the end or something like that. But I just think they sound incredible incredible so well done tab performance if you're considering a set of the tab performance uh, medium baffle 2.25 louvered baffles that's what they sound like um, I really am, am very pleased with them I feel like you know it's it's almost like sleeper pipes you know uh, where they are you know modest to moderately loud at lower RPM but when you really open the throttle uh, they make themselves known and I do feel like they are taking a little bit of heat off the motor as well uh, this motor with the stock slip-ons was kicking into the the rear cylinder was uh, deactivating a lot and I can't tell right now if that's what's going on but I feel like it's not kicking in like it normally does not as quickly anyway so I really feel like it's uh, it's a win for sure absolutely happy with this a lot of guys put um, two into one exhaust onto this bike uh, and those are like a thousand dollars nine hundred to twelve hundred to fifteen hundred dollars depending on what you get and uh, for you know 500 bucks uh, these are incredible I, I love them and the best part is I don't have to spend the money on a tuner these things are running great with no tune I plan to do nothing else right now that's the plan anyway well I hope you like the review the install and the comparison and I, I just want to really thank you for your time. If you haven't subscribed to Referee Moto, please uh, consider subscribing. I really appreciate your subscription. Uh, really uh, also appreciate it if you give the video a like. That really helps me out. Thankful for you. And uh, just remember, it's who you're becoming. That's what matters most. God bless, guys, and we will see you in the next video.